says the Lord to Nigeria, I bring you a word of relief. I bring you a word of consolation. You say words don't mean much. But my words always carry power and they carry life. My light shall once again shine upon your nation. Out of nothing I shall bring forth greatness, says the Lord. I also need to pray for Nigeria, actually. The shaking is too much. And only God will restore peace and stability in our nation. Few days ago, I had a vision, a clear vision. Out of nothing, I shall bring forth greatness. Out of nothing in Nigeria, I shall bring forth greatness. And this greatness shall spread abroad. It shall spread abroad beyond your borders, beyond the surrounding nations, extending to the various continents of the earth. My word concerning your jubilee still stands, says the Lord. Behold, Nigeria, you are still in that season of jubilee, and I am not done with you yet. Seasons may be lengthened. The prophecies may be delayed. But I always keep my promises. Let the feeble knees receive strength. Let us many that have been tired of calling upon my name return to the place of prayer because I am set. I am set to do a new thing. I am set to do a new thing in your nation, says the Lord. I am set to do a new thing in you, Nigeria. And the light of greatness shall spread out of nothing. The light of greatness, it shall spread. It shall spread abroad. I have been working behind the scenes. I have been working behind the scenes. And I have sent my angels to labor behind the scenes on your behalf. Hang in there because help is on the way. Hang in there because that which I have said shall come to pass. It is coming to pass. Nigeria, you are still in Jubilee. Jubilee is not yet over. Because you have not yet experienced restoration. I am bringing your nation into a time of restoration. Your resources shall be replenished. Where resources shall be, diverse resources shall be replenished. Even the brain drain shall be replenished, says the Lord. Restoration is upon you. Restoration is upon you. Restoration is on the horizon. Hang in there. Help is coming. Hang in there. I am your Ebenezer. Do not despair and do not be discouraged. You have waited this long. You cannot give up now. You have waited this long. Don't give up now. Wait on me because I am coming to fulfill my promise. I always keep my promises. The terrain may not currently look like it but I am changing the landscape. It may not look like it, but I am changing the landscape. I say to you once again, hang in there. Help is coming. Help is on the way. As many that have been marked for judgment in the positions of power, as I have said, judgment shall prevail. My judgment shall prevail. And the horns of my faithful servants shall be exalted, says the Lord. I have spoken to your nation concerning the ascension of the Josephs and the Daniels. I remembered my promise and I am keeping my promise. A season is upon you and in that season, the Josephs and the Daniels shall begin to leave the quarry. They shall leave the wilderness and they shall be at the forefront.
I shall be raising many from the grassroots and placing them on the top of the mountain, says the Lord. That my will, my purpose, my counsel shall prevail in your nation. I also see a vision where many that have received purposes from the Lord are beginning to abandon them because of the current hardships because of the current hardships in the nation. Because the economy has not been favorable, many are beginning to abandon their God-given purposes. And the Lord is saying, that's what I have called you to do. Be faithful to do. That's what I have called you to do. Be faithful to do. Because you do not yet see the place of the purpose that I have given you in the grand scheme of things. See the big picture and you will find your place. You will find the place of the purpose that I have given you in the big picture in your nation, says the Lord. Do not forsake what I have called you to do. Do not forsake the companies that I have called you to start up. Do not forsake the businesses that I have called you to pioneer. Do not forsake the apostolic hubs, the ministries that I have called you to raise, says the Lord. Let that purpose, let that purpose be fulfilled. Let that purpose be pursued because in the fulfillment of the purpose that I have given you, succor shall also come to your nation, says the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The family speaks to me about your life. That's when you need to increase the gear of prayer and partner with God to bring its fulfillment. Now, we also need to pray for Nigeria, actually. The shaking is too much. And only God will restore peace and stability in our nation. Few days ago, I had a vision, a clear vision. And I saw youths scampering up and down. Are the buses here? Okay. Don't worry, you'll leave in the next two minutes. I saw youths going up and down, helter-skelter. I want us to pray against uprisings. I saw this vision actually around Thursday, either Thursday morning or not yet over. You know, the Bible says in Psalms 2 that he that sits in the heaven will laugh. He allowed the wicked to make their plots and their manipulations. Sometimes, God can allow himself to appear defeated. Just to show how more defeated the enemy is. I rest my case there. Stand on your feet, let's close. Your week is blessed in the name of Jesus. Prosper in all that you do. May the name of God be glorified in your life. Return work with multiple testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Make sure you... So, beloved, I believe we'll all hear what the man of God has to say concerning Nigeria and we'll also need to pray for Nigeria. Put Nigeria in our day-to-day -day prayer because there's something I keep on saying that the battle is not yet over. A lot of things are happening in Nigeria as we speak. Just imagine when our private um, presidential private jets were seized and these people keep on bringing funds out to do things while they were still owing other countries and that leads to the private jet being seized so when i say that we should pray for nigeria it's not yet over and we felt like this protest that happened it is over <laughs> I believe you heard prophecies that have been dropping back to back concerning protests that there is another protest that is going to come and this one will not give them time and dates just like the previous one did because the protest that just happened on the 1st of August to 10th of August, it looked as if the people were not serious, individuals were not serious, they just came out to rant and then that was it, nothing was done, the federal government did not listen to their plead or demand at the end of the day and that one came to pass but this time around i don't think it's going to be the case a lot of things are going to change and we need to be 
prayerful that things doesn't go out of hand and especially let's pray against war war is not something we are rooting for in nigeria war is not something we want to experience in as much as the governments are bad a lot of things are bad and they are going out of hand in nigeria let's pray for peace in our land let's pray for peace in our country because there are country going through war right now i tell you it is not an experience that you and i want to experience so let's pray against it that these things doesn't happen to us nor does it come to our shores and let's always hold on to the word of god declarations and prophecies over nigeria and one thing like the man of god actually says in this video that we shouldn't give up hope just because prophecies that have been dropping for over two three years has not come into manifestation that doesn't mean that it will not happen because a lot of people like to highlight it that it is always bad prophecies that happens why the good one doesn't happen and i understand i ask that question at times too and i ask god why that things why is it that we are praying we want a good leader we are not getting a lot of things we pray for in 2023 none of it is coming to pass but in the midst of crisis and trial let's give thanks and adoration to god almighty because you and i are still alive there are lots of people that are in the mortuary but we are in the sanctuary and all we are complaining of it's bad leaders and bad economic setup and prices of things has actually skyrocket people some people have all the money in this world but they cannot even move from their bed they have all the money to seek medical attentions or medical this thing abroad home anywhere but money cannot actually bring them back to their feet the way they used to be so me and you we are not sick we're not having headache we're not like nothing is wrong with us we are 100 percent okay the only thing is that our bank account is reading zero 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 so all we need to do is to give god thanks and say that may your will be done in our nation nigeria at the end of the day no matter what the plans of the enemy to destroy nigeria or to crumble us and these bad political leaders all they do is to take our money overseas and invest in another man's economic sector to boost it why we will crumble here why a lot of things go south for the middleman the low class man me and you god Please put these people to shame once and for all. And please give us a good leader. Honestly, I'm praying and I'm rooting towards 2027 when the presidential election is going to take place. Let's see how it's going to play out. As you all know, from next year, campaign will be kicking off small, 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 small. Then 2026 it will be everywhere let's just pray that the will of god is done at the end of the day and may whatever we're praying we're seeking god for comes to pass because it is not easy to go through what we are going through but let's still be thankful in the midst of what we are going through as nigerians and as citizens and i pray that protest should not come out in a way that individuals are not going to handle it and the government are not going to handle it something that will lead to a lot of life being lost in the process i don't want anybody to break his hand or his leg or his head over protest because you need to be alive to agitate for something and once you're not alive to agitate for that thing my dear brothers and sisters it's gonna be had i know had i know all the way so let's try to put our nation in prayer and put a lot of things in prayer that is just what me i said let me come here and share with each and every one of us and please do where to subscribe to my youtube channel if this is your very first time coming across my youtube channel please do it to subscribe comment like share and also don't forget to turn on the post notification bell to get notified whenever i drop a new video you'll be notified easily and if you're a returning subscriber once again i want to say a very big thank you thank you for always tuning in and thank you for always watching my videos god bless you as you do that all the time and I want to say that please let's share this video on all social media platforms. Let's share it on Facebook, WhatsApp, TikTok, Instagram to make sure that it gets across to a lot of people. So like I was saying, let's not give up hope. Let's not give up praying for Nigeria and let the will of God be done at the end of the day. Let God touch the heart of this politician because things are not easy. You want to talk about road. You want to talk about 
health you want to talk about education you want to talk about a lot of things are just basa in nigeria they are so spoiled in a way that it's difficult to actually gather things home and what our federal government depend on solely is crude oil and this oil is going to fail us one day one day because the people that they are actually draining this oil from their land they have rendered them helpless hopeless because majority of the deltas the uh, southeast that they get these oils from these people lands are barren because of oil these people cannot fish majority of them are fishermen because that place is surrounded by river these people when they get this oil it contaminates the sea and it destroy people's um way of life or, or like source of living which is by fishing especially those fishermen and a lot of things the government are not looking into it and our ecosystem it's bad honestly so there are things that we ourselves need to see that and actually agitate for it's not about the prices of commodity rising and the government actually looking into the agri sector for those other states that depend solely on farming there is no enough security reasons for them to be able to go for their day-to-day activity. Some of them are being attacked by Flani Hesme, Boko Harams, and bandits, all in the name of there is no good security reasons at the end of the day. People cannot move from one place to another, from one community to another the way they used to do. And all these things came to our land, our shore, because of bad leaders and because of stupid political ambitions that people want to fulfill or accomplish at the end of the day and people at the receiving end of base which are communities that are not able to farm are not able to do they can provide proper farming tools for them something like chemicals to spread on weeds on the farm something like proper seedling like a lot fertilizer to also help the crops nothing none of these things are being provided for this farmer so nigeria is the way it is because of bad leaders and a lot of things are going down hill all the way and every day these people already have the money that they want to last their three generations to come but they just still want to put us in jeopardy and put a lot of things for us upside down but what can we say than to pray to god and make sure that the will of god is done in our nation and a lot of things go to you and i favor at the end of the day so that is just what this video is all about and please like i said earlier on if you have not subscribed please do where to subscribe comment like share and turn on the post notification bell to get notified whenever i upload a new video and if you're a returning subscriber i want to say a very big thank you thank you for always tuning in and thank you for always watching my video god bless you as you do that and i'll see you in the next one shortly thank you bye for now <laughs>